So it's Monday again and it's Singapore's phase two in the opening and most of the shopping malls and shops are open. So this week I'll have more classes. Like tonight I'll be going to studio and I've been offered another class this Sunday. So I don't know how is it gonna be like but yeah so I'll bring you all my journey for this week. <laughs> now I'm on my way to give math division. Today in school, it rained the whole day. So a lot of the students were very sleepy. So it was a slow Monday morning. And after school, I went home, shower, ate my lunch, and now I'm rushing to my student's house. So I haven't seen him for almost two months. So hopefully he finished all the homework. Another fun fact, I've been teaching math tuition for about 10 years now. Woohoo! I'm done with tuition! And now I'm rushing to studio. So just now my boy greeted me and his voice broke. <laughs> so he's going through puberty now. He grew a bit taller. Like I think almost the same height as me really. So yep. And he's I think he's starting to feel the stress for PSLE, so he's asking me for additional class. So that what I need to communicate with mommy and yep, see what can we what we can do for him. So I'll catch you up later. Where is my dino? And it's raining. <laughs> I don't want my shoes to get wet. Can you hear it? It's pouring! Look! Super huge! It's raining cats and dogs! Oh, but luckily my shoe isn't wet. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> so, just one more lesson for the day. Um, so today it rained the whole day, so from the morning up to when I reached home but I, I'm not so sure what time it end because I was teaching ECCA already. So my kid was very sleepy the entire day, like not able to focus and um, task avoidance as usual. But my kid was able to complete all the tasks, so that was very good. And the form teacher reminded the class to bring their math workbook 1B. So 1B usually is done in term 3 and term 4. And the form teacher asked the whole class to write it in their notebook. So my kid refused to write it in the notebook. Alright, so my kid actually said that, I will remember. I'll remember for sure. <laughs> so yeah, and my kid actually made a bet saying that if I don't bring my book tomorrow, you don't have to give me stickers for the whole day. And I was like, oh, that's a bet. You said it yourself. So when I reacted that way, my kids started having self-doubt and I was like, yes, I won. My kids going to write in the notebook, right? No. So I was wrong. My kids started to chant. Um, I will bring my math workbook, I will bring my math workbook, I will bring my math workbook. And this went on for quite some time and then it stopped. And my kids suddenly turned to me, I need to bring my math workbook, right? And I was like, yeah. And this went on for quite some time. So it was quite cute, quite funny. And I, remen uh, I reminded the mom not to remind my kid to bring the math workbook. So we're going to see how it goes tomorrow. I think it'll be quite fun and funny. And then after school, I have to rush home for ECCA. So school actually ends at 1.30 and my ECCA uh, starts at 2.30. So I have to really like rush home and shower so that I don't dirty the whole like area that I'm teaching and have a quick bite and start teaching. So um, my ECCA lasts for two hours. And this is actually the second week. And I would think that it's actually a success. Like the kids are very engaged despite, you know, they are them doing it at home and not with their friends. And today we have actually uh, a few children in school. So you can see like, okay, home, 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 they have that uh, school uh, environment. So the kids in school 
as usual they have that they are social distancing so they are all like dancing in one square of their own and now I'm having my break and I'll meet the ladies um, at around 7 for their class so because the ladies are still um, working from home they have not uh, returned to the office so they actually end quite late so they actually requested like you no know, um, to start their studio ballet class in July so I'll still conduct their uh, online classes until end of June which is like two weeks so after that hopefully all of them will go back to the studio to dance and yep yesterday dancing in the studio was just great so now i need to take a break if not later i have no more energy so i'll catch you later i'm eating berry cheesecake so we are in the middle of the class and miss isabel decided to go to the toilet i'm inside the toilet now I don't have to remove my wireless. If you hear anything, just ignore all your camera now. I really want to fireworks already. The woman. I can't take it. Why is my the student so fast? Are you done? No, I want to let go already. Mute. I'm videoing. <laughs> we are having dinner now. Wow, your dinner looks so nice, Ivan. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. So it's about 9.15 now, and I have to be at school at 9 30. So just now I was having classes online with another school. Yeah, and we're just finishing up the project. So I'm left with about two more sessions with them and we are done so now i'm heading to the primary school and it's raining again <sighs> Hello. Another one. You want some more? I only eat vegetable. Lay chop And round two. Nine. Go. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, so it's almost 11pm and I just finished my report from Monday to Wednesday together with my dinner. Yeah, I have a late dinner today and so as you can see, my kid remember the math workbook. So now I have to think of another strategy to encourage my kid to write. So my kid doesn't like writing and when it comes to writing or like task, classwork in school, my kid always try to avoid it. So now I have to think of new ways to encourage my kid in writing. And also today, my kid has to take photo for his Ezlink card. So you know, when we take photo, there will be huge lights. So my kid was like squinting and when it was time to take the photo, my kid actually smiled like that. So it was quite cute and it was a brand new experience for my kid. So I went to meet Mario and we had a very long catch-up session and yep um because next month he'll be doing something else and his schedule will be very packed so we won't have time to meet so that's why we decided to quickly meet and catch up so mario is one of my good friends for me i try to meet my good friends at least once a month if not once every two months yeah so that's something that i'm trying to work towards if not i'll just keep working and working and working and not have a social life Good morning! So today is Thursday and now it's about 9.40 a.m. and I'm strolling, taking my time to go to the school. So you may ask why am I so late today because usually on Thursday in the morning I have my CCA. 
so shout out to my girls who are watching this video. I miss y'all. Yeah, but because of the COVID, we cannot have CCA, right? So um, on Monday, the HOD actually texted me and asked me for like suggestion on how to do the ECCA. So we'll see how it goes. And so cute. I reminded my kid that I'll be late today. And my kid asked, why are you not coming earlier? It that we are back to our old schedule, so hopefully my kid understands. <laughs> yep, so I'll catch you later. Yeah, Moss Burger. Next yeah. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so I'm on my way home now and I just finished a meeting with one of my bosses. Yay! Go home! Hello everybody. I'm recording from the news because zombie apocalypse. Please don't go out. The news is reporting a lot of zombies. Please. Cannot. Cannot. <laughs> Let's do a picture of you. Hello. On for the line. On for the line. Can you sing the On for the line? On for the line. So today my kid had a meltdown So what happened was that My kid wanted to go to the toilet But because we were going to greet the teacher Me and the teacher then didn't allow my kid to go So that made my kid upset So my kid started pushing the tables and chairs Of the classmates And yeah, and it happened for about I think a good 10 minutes before my kid settled down and finally did the right thing that is to greet the teacher and after that my kid went to the toilet came back and I prompted my kid to start you know, rearranging the tables and chairs my kid did it but my kid started to quarrel so as my kid was getting more aggressive I have to like carry my kid out and Yep, we were outside the classroom and I gave you options for time out which my kid didn't respond at first so I just waited and waited and my kid finally chose to do the right thing which is like a 5 minute time out because it was either 5 minute, 10 minute or go somewhere further so my kid decided okay I'm gonna do the 5 minute time out which my kid did perfectly so my kid actually sat nicely no lying on the floor and all the expected behavior so that was very good and after that we went back to the classroom and my kid drank water and started listening during class and halfway through the class my kid suddenly stood up and walked towards the friend so i also stood up because i don't know what will happen or what my kid's going to do my kid actually surprised me and apologized to the friend which usually takes a very long time for my kid to do it and so one thing to note is that we haven't talked about the situation so I haven't talked to my kid about the before, during and after the whole meltdown so usually we'll do that but I decided to you know, let it rest for a while because I don't know how ready my kid was so when my kid actually stood up and walked to that friend to apologize I was very shocked I was like oh, I couldn't believe my ears and the teacher who was nearby was also very shocked because usually I have to prawn my kid a lot of times before my kid actually, you know, realize oh, what my kid did was wrong. And that's not it, you know. After a while, so like maybe after the end of the period and halfway through the next period where it was another teacher who came in, stood up again and walked to another friend and apologized. This time, my kid just said, sorry. Then I was very confused because I didn't see anything happen. And then I asked what happened, like why do you apologize? So my kid said, for pushing tables and chairs. Then I was like, oh, then you must say that. Say, I'm sorry for pushing your tables and chairs. So then my kid went back to their friend and apologized nicely, saying, I'm sorry for pushing your tables and chairs. And the friend actually replied, it's okay. And my kid ran back to the desk and my kid was super happy and proud and my kid did it without any prompts so that was very very good yep so i'm glad that happened and i actually told mom when i saw her and she was also very 
shocked and very happy about it. And despite having that meltdown, everything turned out fine. So I'm very happy. And after that, my kid actually started talking to me like usual, like normal. Because usually it doesn't happen. And usually the meltdown would last very long. It can last for like the entire day or it may drag on to the next day when my kid sees me again. So there's a lot of improvement within this period of time. So I'm very, very proud of my kid. And hopefully tomorrow, my kid will be all happy because sometimes, like I said earlier, my kid may bring the, um, the emotions that happened today to the following day. So let's see what happens and I'll keep my fingers crossed and I'll update you tomorrow.